I want to make a 3D printed guitar and I'm curious if it would be possible to 3D print a guitar neck in one piece and that's exactly what we're going to find out in this video. I'm not going to 3D print the body, I need a donor guitar and um... I'm not going to destroy a perfectly fine guitar and therefore I've bought the biggest piece of shit mankind can buy. I've bought this as a kit, I put this together. Even this neck is twisted so if you rotate it fast enough you can feel a forward force. So I will use this body and replace the neck. This is the printer that we're going to use. It's the Creality CI30 and it's a belt printer. It uses a belt instead of a standard bed. That makes this thing very good at printing long things. I received a wall mount kit from Rapcord. I think it looks dope and it saves a lot of space. And I'm also completely sure that this thing is hanging level. That's a random thing to say. <laughs> There's more to this video than only 3D printing a guitar neck. I recently designed an experimental extruder. This is the second version of the proper extruder and it uses timing belts to push the filament. This version has improved gears printed out of nylon like resin from 3D resins which is unlike anything I've ever seen. This is how the support is removed. It uses special remote bolts for extreme accuracy, the belts are perfectly tensioned and the motor can be removed from the assembly. Don't forget the adapter mount which makes it compatible with most printers. The only problem still is that I need to design a guitar neck and the guitar neck is a well it's a pretty tough shape yeah very tough you load FreeCAD, open the mask guitar designer plugin click on create instrument create guitar fretboard create neck and you've got yourself a guitar neck okay this is pretty epic. The only thing you have to do is modify a couple of parameters and you have yourself a guitar neck. I've imported this in Fusion 360 because I'm a lot faster in there and I made this into a 3D printable version. The idea is to print it into this orientation. So I made one flat side. The thing I wasn't sure of is the truss rod. And in order to find out how it actually works, I carefully removed it from the reference guitar. The truss rod is the rod that goes inside of the neck and it determines the curvature of the neck. If I turn it counterclockwise, then it becomes hollow. And if I turn it clockwise, it, it bends in the other way. So with this, you can fine tune the curvature of the neck. And I also think that this makes this whole project feasible. Besides adjusting the curvature, it also adds stiffness and strength to the neck. With a normal neck, you have a fretboard and you'll just place this inside of the neck and glue the fretboard on top. But we are going to print it into one piece. So I had to do some modifications. The idea is to insert the thrust rod from the front. We might need to hammer it down a bit. I already made a small test piece to figure out how it fits. It fits the guitar. This last fret also aligns perfectly. I'm going to use inserts to mount it. I also use this to verify if that extruder is actually working. It managed to print this, but I had to do some minor improvements. The material I'm going to use is this fluor green PLA from Three for Makers. I want to be sure that you can see from a far distance that this is not a normal guitar neck. I think that this will work. Three for Makers is my filament sponsor. You can get 10% off of all your purchases on there if you use the proper printing promo code. So check out the website 3 formakerscom and you also help this channel. I'm going to slap this on the CR30 and we are going to print ourselves a single piece guitar neck. Oh 
Okay, this is a problem. <laughs> These gears, they aren't round anymore. And that's because this material is so flexible. I think I have to print those out of the PMM. <laughs> I'm going to reprint those out of the PMA-like material because this is not going to work. This is the third version of the proper extreme. Okay, let's let's just print it next. I'm experiencing some layer shifts right now because this part is tilting. It already has lost a couple of steps, so it's digging it itself into the bed. For some reason, this can be pressed in here. I'm going to stop this print. <laughs> I've designed my own brim for it. Maybe I have to put more tension on this belt. This thing has been running all night and to be honest, I didn't sleep that well. I already had a couple of failures. I ended up raising this build platform and right now it's looking good. It looks very surreal. Right now I'm driving towards the studio, it's Sunday morning and normally this is my day off. But if the calculations are correct, then the neck should be finished by now. Or at least it's, it's close to finishing. Oh wow! <laughs> Whoa! Holy shit! It's finished! I think that we can say that this extruder, it works. It has passed its first test. And I also think that this is a great moment to show you the merch that I've designed. I love 3D printing. And this is the actual front view of the actual extruder. It's conveniently hard shaped. Once I figured out it was hard shaped, I designed accordingly. Check out my website or just look below this video. You can find this merch. And if you're a Patreon supporter, you will also get a discount. Talking about Patreon supporters, I want to say thanks to my top tier Patreon supporters. Your support helps so much with these crazy projects. It's time to remove this neck, add the hardware to it, mount it to the guitar and see if it will actually hold the tension of those strings. Can I just rip it off there? Uh. Okay, let's see if we can hammer this truss rod down here. There is one slight problem. This neck is not straight. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it will straighten out with this thing. It still works. <laughs> Okay. The last thing that has to be done is adding those frets. I tried to add one to this 
test piece and I definitely underestimated that so I've ordered some special tooling for it hopefully it's strong enough well I have gained some faith in the strength of 3d printing lately <laughs> I think we'll be fine oh, it's already cracked here It has tremolo, so this thing is also going up. It takes a while to tune this thing. It looks like I have to adjust the truss rod. Because the strings are quite far from this neck. And I can also lower this. damn thing works did you expect this okay, let's see how well this thing plays Still intact. <laughs> Let's see if it can play some punk. Tune. Ah, does it care for metal? <laughs> the 
Mac is a bit flexible. I think this neck is playable. <laughs> oh, it just feels like a normal neck. It's a bit more flexible, but it just plays. I can make myself a fully 3D printed guitar and that wouldn't be the normal guitar, of course. But that's for a future video. I want to thank everyone involved with this video. Also, Kai Weeds. Thanks for sending this laser level. It was very cool to use this to mount that CO30. The extruder is a success. It managed to print this. And the only problem is that this neck isn't straight. If you know how to print straight on a CO30, then please let me know. And now I'm wondering which color I should make the body from. I'm having doubts between gray, black or purple. Let me know in the comments what color you think would be best. It, it, it works way better than I expected. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and see you in the next video. Bye. Oh man. <laughs>